brought you back at this point, I'm going back in to work on the uh, mountains and the clouds over top of the coastal range. Um, the reason I think this stage is important is because for the first time in the history of this painting, it's starting to become solid. It's starting to become still. This is a dangerous point in any painting uh, if you um, kill the movement, kill the life in it. It's more important to render it alive than it is to render it perfect. So I know exactly the line that has um, created this um, feeling for the painting. And so for now, I'm going to take it out. I may put it back in later, but for right now, I want to take it out. And it's this one right here. It's because it's become way too defined and solid. So I'm just going to soften it up a bit. And uh, the painting again begins to move the way I want it to. Now in, um, in real life, if you were to look at this uh, landscape, that line is very solid. That doesn't necessarily mean I want it that way in the painting. Your eye will finish it the way it needs to be. My job is to keep the painting uh, moving. So let's see, I might as well keep you around for a little bit while I work on those uh, mountains because it's um, a little, it's an interesting task. Let's see what we can do here. Um, now I'm going to use the ultramarine blue with a dab of, uh, not brown, um, a little bit dab of extra red in there to get that bruised cloud that I want. A little bit too much red, such as my light. There's a little bit too much of everything. Maybe not always. Let me maybe see the color that this is becoming. I am going to need just a tad bit of that brown to sort of tone it down a touch. And I'll probably use a fair bit of white. Now what is happening is there's low clouds, kind of like the ones that are in the sky over top of us, that are uh, intermixed on these um, tops of these mountains below where the snow caps are, which I haven't even put in yet. They're kind of the last thing. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Switching brushes yet again. The person doesn't need this many brushes. They could get by, and I have, with far less by washing them out all the time. Um, and I tend not to want to do that. And the reason is it messes with the harmony of the painting later on. The color harmony. For me, anyway. I think it's because I like to work right on my canvas to mix my colors. So for me, it works better to have um, more brushes. So I do. It's not such a bad thing. Let me see, where's my reference image? <laughs> ah, here it is. Just want to double check. Oh, yes. Let's see here. It's more up in here. And right up to the top. As you probably noticed, I don't use this in reference image very much because there's several in my head. I took, I don't know, maybe a hundred photos of this scene and the waves are in different places, um, sort of with each, each moment the camera caught. And uh, what I want to be able to do is to let this painting become really alive and as I paint, when I'm painting mountains, I'm thinking, oh, as this mountain, how does this feel? When I'm painting clouds, 
I think, oh, you know, where am I moving to as this cloud? If I'm painting the sea, where am I going? What's causing those waves? So these are all aspects of painting the emotion of a scene rather than the physical forms. I mean, the physical forms are there, but I'm more interested in the light and the movement than I am in the physical forms in the painting. So I'm looking for the elements of the relationship, the space in between each of these isn't empty, it's together. So there's a relationship between all of these elements and there's a relationship between the viewer and all of these elements. That is I want, what I want in my final painting. I want you inside of this painting, breathing the same moment that I was when I very first saw it. Tall order, but we'll make it work. Okay, where are we? Ah, oh, we've got some more over here that's kind of like this as well. Mostly I work in the studio by myself. This is kind of like my first adventure, talking my way through what it is I'm working on rather than just painting it. It's kind of a strange thing to do, actually. I want to take you with me. There's only kind of one way, and that is to take you with me. And I just caution people that what I do isn't the way to paint. It's just solving some painting relationships that are important to me. Artists have a number of ways that work just fine that are very different from what I'm doing here. I think the danger is to say, this is the right way to do it. This is the way it has to be done. As far as I'm concerned, I want to be an emerging artist my whole life. Okay. Now I'm going to have to switch up and put in some mega whites in there. Really? Yeah, I guess I could have a little bit of that more color on my brush. So let's see what we can do. I don't know if you need to stay with me for this whole piece. So I'll probably just squeeze this out. I'll let you go off about your day. While I build up some more paint on this canvas. Working on a very large painting, it's much harder to pay attention to working the whole canvas at once. Because you actually have to work a piece of it at a time. It's just too big otherwise. But it's sort of keeping you all at the same stage of completeness as you go. Okay. So that's it for now.